floss tube. It's Nerissa from Nerissa's Stitching Lifestyle in Christchurch, New Zealand. Welcome. Today is Sunday the 29th of September, uh, 2024. Um, it's floss tube number 33, I believe. Um, end of stash sample starts end of um sampler september um absolutely enjoyed all of it as you know i love stitching on samplers so yay um sad to see it end but that won't stop me i'll keep stitching samplers <clears throat> please excuse my voice today um <coughs> in any coughing as you know last time i'd been ill and got over the bug well we just do a little tiny life update on thursday um 150 meters away from work there was a industrial fire um and we were at work we you know had to go to work had to open up um and got a little bit smoked so a little bit of smoke inhalation um irritated throat lungs etc um so just just a wee bit coffee and a bit of a raspy voice today um doc says that will be normal for probably about two three weeks and yeah little breaths not big ones um but that's okay that's life is the it? we just trudging on so at the end if i don't squeeze them in here now but probably at the end i'll um flick a couple of photos of the um that I took of the fire um just so you can see okay so the last two weeks have been a bit up and down with my stitching um hi kitty we've got um some samplers to show you got some Christmas stitching to show you and some finishes to show you um, so we're going to save Christmas till the end because I know majority of my uh, watchers prefer the sampler stuff. So oops, don't want to drop that. I'm just going to lean over here. I'll pick that up before the cats run away with it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And it fell on the floor anyway. Okay, right. So not in order of what I stitched because honestly foggy brain today and you can't remember but we did work on a heart to remembers blackbird designs book so the one that i chose and i started this for my stash sampler starts is a heart to remembers and this is a beautiful little wee sampler and this is mine so i have sorry i am stitching it on salted caramel 40 count from number 12 stitch co absolutely love nicholas fabrics um so the border is done i had the greenery on the border last time um and i think i've done one side of strawberries if i remember or one and a quarter um i'd started the house and i'd done a little bit of the internal border so the whole border is finished the whole internal border is finished the little wee house apart to a color in the windows hold two seconds the windows are colored in but not the window frames so they still need to be done um and i, I had to get to this big flower in the middle but, oh my gosh this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um little wee sampler so as you can see a little wee bit more to go so i've just got to finish off the leaves here that part of the house that i hadn't done um a little bit in this flower and then the leaves above it and then i've got the roses four roses and three birds and a few little flowers to go so yeah i can't wait now my threads i'm using on that one in here DMC and they're 
gorgeous. Mm, one's called Quits Guard. That's right, that's in their little wee bag. Okay, so that was A Heart Remembers. Just flop him back into his bag. I'm kind of going to do a little bit of cleanup as we go today, um, just to make it a bit easier for me later. All right, so <clears throat> the next one I have to show you is it over. Martha Worms Wormsley, 1847, reproduced by Hands Across the Sea Samplers. Um, my friend Susie has finished hers um, and she's even got it framed already. Um, we'll get to see that hopefully in a couple of weeks um, when we get to catch up. And Jude's been working on hers as well. So we are all all working making progress um so this time round i have um stitched the blue vase here so it's it's the bottom part of it there's still the flowers to go but i just wanted to change i was going to work on the border and bring it along um, but that particular day that i picked this up i thought no I just want to, I want to wear that blue vase. Because there's two of them, so let's get one out of the road. Um, so one done, haven't done the flowers on top. But I'll do the flowers at the same time as I work on the border next time I pick it up. Um, because the colours are all the same. And there's no point. Stop, start, you know. Re-threading, unthreading. Too many threads, I might as well work, along, work them in together. Um, so this is being done on 40 count that I dyed myself um, using rip dyes. So I just went for it, made it into a really light beigey base and did some serious splash modeling. Um, but love how it's turned out. Um, absolutely gorgeous. So Martha is being stitched with DMC threads. Um, a bit of a tangled mess. It's a problem when you put things away at like 11 o'clock at night. To race off to bed, isn't it? And get a bit just thrown in there. Um, but absolutely love, love stitching on this. Um, really need to get going. I want to knock over. I've got a couple of big ones sitting here and I don't want to knock them over. Okay, so that's Martha. <coughs> right, so then I've got a new start. So this was part of my stash sampler start and part of um, sampler September, sampler September symposium, symposium. Can't think. Brain is really not working today. Um, anyway, I started having it had it in my list. Sarah Mill Melthorpe 1837 from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. Um, I've got the um is it the bags that Sarah came over? They're in the bedroom. I'm sure Sarah's on one of the bags. Um but oh I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she was. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. So, I'm I'm just using DMC threads. Um, I love using DMC threads. It's nice to work with, easy to get access to. Um, yeah, it just, it makes the project just a that little bit more affordable. Sorry, in my, in my expensive Ziploc bag. <laughs> We're sending you flying your room. Okay, so that's how I'm pulling out a little bit. It is. It's, an, it's very similar to the other fabric. I've got a couple of new um, big bright lights lamp things behind me, but they're blowing out the fabric today. Definitely not that colour. 
Mm. Okay. Anyway. All right. So, as you can tell, I wanted to get to that big red house. And the big red house, one of those little windows in that top row there, can't remember exactly which one it was, is the center of the project. Yay. So, yes. There's my, there's my big red house. Started being filled in. Um, still got one set of windows to do. Um, and do the frames around them. And then it's just, once I've done that, I can just pick it up and leave that filling of the um, red house at any time. But I did want to, I wanted to get that big bolt done. Um, so yeah, 40 count, dyed by myself using DMC threads. So yay, another start. So that was Sarah. And she's fun to stitch on. Can't wait to pick her up again. Okay. So the next, I guess, new start I had. Uh, I'm just trying to find a little picture. Was the Scarlet House, Jane Cowie, 1850. And I've loved it, had this for a long time and loved it for a long time. And it keeps getting shunted down the list. And I really, no, I'm starting it this year. Um, it's being stitched. DMC threads. Love the colours. Can't wait to use a lot of those because mine looks pretty boring at the moment. We have the green border. So, first round, yay, matched. All met up. Wonderful. And then up here at the top, I started on some of the little strawberries. One, because when it's off this, I want to know which way's up. Makes it easier. And then I can, that really is blowing me out, isn't it? Um, and then I really can, it's probably closer to the colour there. Um, really can make it look good. This one here is eggshell from Fibre on a Whim. Uh, 40 count. Love, love how that's going to turn out. Um, and all those blob, bright, bright colours are going to look absolutely amazing on there. Can't wait. Now, Carol Saltbox Stitcher has stitched this. Um, and I know there's a couple other floss tubers I've watched that are um, in progress with it as well or have just started it. Um, but yeah, beautiful. So, I didn't have a scarlet house since I'd finished um, the Smith sampler, so I needed to pick up another one. Right, so then we get into some of the, the whips. That was, that was the last of my starts. Um, so, my first whip, I've made a tiny bit of progress on. Well, it looks like a tiny bit of progress. Um, is examples from the heart and they send. And we're still, we're still working up in this vicinity here. On 40 count, um, I think it's my little tag. Where did my little tag go? Hold this up. Using all the called for sampler threads. Um, and I think I've got three DMC threads that I couldn't, excuse me. That I couldn't um, get at the time, so I just put the DMC conversion in. Hmm. Need to find that fabric tag. I'm pretty sure it is Hog Bristle 40 count. It'll be caught up in something. Um, and I normally write it on here as well. Yes, 40 count Hog Bristle. That is why I write it on the back of my tags. So on the front, I have the project name, and on the back, I always have the fabric. Normally have them pinned on here, and I've, I've got the pin. But for some unknown reason, it's fallen off. It's nearly 44. Oh, that was quick. Okay, progressed. Right, so this time round, I finished off the um, orange part of the border here. That was the last part of those two borders that I had to finish. And I concentrated this time on the tree. 
So everything is done on the tree except for the snake. And those little wee, um, you can see the little bluey dots? That's part of the snake. Um, so he's still got to be done. There's a bird here and a bird here, the heart filled in. And then a couple of tiny little wee ones around. And then the grass hill to be finished and that part there will be done. She's gonna look awesome. Is this finished? Can't wait to get back to working on here. Okay. I'm going to show that really big one last. Right, so the next project I pulled out and worked on a little bit was Charlotte Warrington, 1838. Now this was an exclusive kit from the Homespun and Needlework Facebook group. Um, got mine and mine has been stitched on 46 count and I'm using the weeks. And this one is one that is on my scroll rolls um, because pretty much just over here I've got great big bay windows and sitting there on a, a Sunday afternoon or you know when it's nice and sunny um, and just stitching away on this slowly is really nice. So this time round I filled in I filled in grass. I played with green. So, over here, we had just covered up the tails on these sheep here. So, we've just come across this way. May not look like a lot, but there's almost, almost uh, 400 stitches in that tiny little section. Um, it's crazy. I mean, I'd love to get into that big house in here um but i know if i go and start doing that or even um adam and eve i'm not going back to that grass so if i get half the grass done then i will work the house you know like this side of the grass done sorry then i'll work the house in adam and eve um and then i'll fill in you know the sheep and whatnots and other animals on the other side and then that grass can be a back and forth between the rest of it but I want to get I need to get that done um, so yeah slow and steady progress on this one one because it's 46 count so the eyes are you know you've got to be in the mood for it with your eyes um, and that so it's just a, a very big sample and it just needs the right light and that to work on it so I love Charlotte absolutely gorgeous so enjoying working on her um, what else did we stitch on? Okay, so the next one I pulled out, and this was another um, stash chart for starts, but this was from in August. Um, and it's the scissor holder, which goes with the Mary Alcorn sampler series um, by Hobby House Press. Um, and I do have the spool to put this in. So last time, this is where I'm at now. So I made quite good progress on this. Um, last time we had done all the squiggly at the top. We'd done part of the squiggle border here. And we'd basically done this. So this time I come in and I finish the squiggle off. Finish the blue there. Um, and put all the base for all of the, f um, all the greenery for all the flowers. And then it's now still got to have another one of these to go on underneath. And then it is pretty much the red and golds to finish filling in. Um, so it's a little bit piggledy piggledy. But um, oh, I'm loving how this is coming out. Um, and it will fit. Beautiful. Oh, it is behind me. I wondered if it was. Just make sure it's not covered in dust. Um, and here's this ball. So when it's done, it will be, it'll be the right height. That little bit each on the side. Can't wait. Um, 
so so enjoying that that won't that'll only be another session or two maybe searching on that um using the called for weeks dye works um and then when that is when that is done I'll just look over we will be on to the drum um and then i'm hoping my friend when she goes to america can pick up um there's the the flat cushion part and i'm hoping hobby house are going to have the sample out by then because that would be really awesome to be able to um get that and be ready to go and then it's all done we can keep going with that set okay another one that i've had is a stash sample to start and um, pulled out and have worked on is, I'm going to have to pull it out of its plastic, sorry guys, um, is Scarlet House um, and it's icy red. Now this is only a, a small-ish sampler, it is 96 by 71, but it does have one, two, two full alphabets over one um, and some little small motifs that are over one. Um, I'm stitching mine on 40 count. So the pattern was given to me by Elizabeth. Um, and Jude gave me this thread, which is Canna Lily from Country Cottage Threads. Um, they're based in Australia, but I do believe you can, oh, I know you can get them in New Zealand, but I do believe you can get them in the States now. Um, absolute gorgeous thread. Worked um, a few times with that thread over the years. In different colors but here's where i am so what i got done this time was i did all of this little wee one over one part of the alphabet and that takes a little bit of time to do the one over one so there's still another top row of that alphabet um this one here where my fingers are and then the hearts We've got to come down and finish this row here. Um, and then I think I've got yeah, so this row downwards. So we've still got one, two, a half and a half. So basically three alphabets to go and a couple of little motifs um, to have that one finished. Um, and I kind of have a plan for this one. I like when that happens when you get part way through stitching and you know what you want to do with it. Um, it does make life a little bit easier. Okay, so other than this last project and Christmas stitching, that's all the samplers I've worked on in the last two weeks, which is not like me. Um, I normally work on quite a few, but I've been concentrating on most of it on one because I want to get... I'm not saying it because the minute I say it, it's not going to happen. I'm just concentrating on this one. Um, so, lives in my beautiful project bag made many years ago. And it is Andale. Big and beautiful. Sorry, mine is a black and white printout by Shakespeare's Peddler. I bought mine as PDF. I started this several years ago. Um... Oh my gosh, four years maybe? And we're almost there. Right, yeah. It's on fabric that I dyed myself. I'm going to pop it on the chair. So, previously, all the bottom's been done. We've been working our way up. This time round, I I did some one over one in the wording. Um, I don't mind doing one over one. It's just, it, it's a slow process. Um, but I do find good light, good magnifier, and shorter length thread is really helpful. Um, so I think I've got about three weeds to go here. Because um, that's part one. And then there's another part two quote that's going to go in here. So to reward myself, every time I finish the thread on this, I went up. And I was going to finish off the you know internal borders, but I went up. And I couldn't help myself. And I started on the flowers and or trees in the middle. Flowers in the middle. Trees. Shrubs. Oops. 
um, in the middle. Oh my gosh, it really is super Sunday, isn't it? Drop everything. Um, all of these in the middle here because that's the last of the bulk stitching. So, like I said, every time I did a little thread, finished the thread, I would go in. I mean, this took one thread to do that. So then I did another bit, and on the other side, finish all this. Um, so when I pick it up again, which will be this afternoon, um, I will do another thread in here. And then I will decide because I need to look seriously at the pattern on whether I'm going to do the pinks, the reds, the pinks, the reds, the whites, or there's a yellowy kind of colour. Um, because I'm going to work it on every single one of them. Whatever the colour is, I'm just going to pick out that one colour and work it all. Um, so that I just haven't decided yet which one. But this is my concentration. If I can get this done in the next few days. And then doing the same thing, a thread there, a thread here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna be close. Can't wait. This big girl here, she's gonna she's gonna end up on that wall at the back there. And before you panic, there is still plenty of room. So I can't wait to have Anne. We're done again today. Okay. Okay. Land in there. Um, DMC threads. That's what I'm stitching it in on. So yeah, that was that was my majority of my stitching. <coughs> Sorry, I am just gonna have a mouthful of water. All right. So the next pieces I worked on, which I work on every morning before work, is Christmas stitching. And I've got one on the floor, excuse me, and mine makes samples instead. Right, got bits there. Okay, so the first ones I did some more work on in the mornings was the Prairie Schooler Christmas Strawberries. Um, we 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 last time we had this one is completed. It's green and it's red. This one here has its green and a tiny bit of red, so it's still got all the red to go out. This one here has all its green, no red, so it's still got red to go out. And then this one here, oops, I finished all the green off, and that particular morning I just started putting the red straight into that one because I want to finish all four of these before I do the next, the last two, um, which will be on another strip of, of white. Um, so that is getting a little bit, but once I've got the green done, the red's just fill in. So nice and easy. Um, using the called for DMCs of 377 and 319, and they are on 36 count. Okay. Now, the next Christmas one that I worked on, don't work on those, don't work on those, was a start and a finish. Now, this is an older chart, and I don't know if you can still get it. I haven't actually checked. Sorry, that's my bad. Um, by Brenda Javay with the needle and thread, and it is Jingle All The Way. Now, in the photos, I've finished it onto, you know, like a little little box paper mache oval box i'm not mine is going to be an ornament and as you can see by my my pins i started and that was as far as i got um i lost motivation on finishing this one yesterday mostly because i struggled to find a backing fabric that i like and with, with what i have and trust me i have hundreds of meters of, of christmas fabric um so I'm going to have to take it to work and I'm going to have to have a look and see what we've got at work. I have ones that have little candy canes, but it's very white. I have, it's a, it's not a red red, it's a burgundy red. Um, a couple of the burgundies I had had silver with them, not a gold. 
which if I had gold, I could get away with it because of the little brown and the gold in his belt. So I'm still humming and harrying on my fabric. So at the moment, he will be lace lit, you know, sometime this week. Um, but he's done. So he's going to be another oval ornament to go on my Christmas tree. So start and finish off stitching, just not assembling. Um, and done with DMC threads. I'll keep those with the project until I have fully finished. Okay, so that's that one. That's my next project. Right, so then um, I did a little bit of finishing. So this one here is Stacey Nash. Uh, Merry Christmas pin keep drum. Now I'd finished stitching and I'd started the assembling in Christmas in July and it sat there and it sat there and honestly it needed about about two inches of the base stitched up and the thing stuffed. So the other night when I was just I was coughing so much and I couldn't um, I couldn't I couldn't stitch I couldn't keep my eyes open long enough to see the holes um i managed to do the stitching and i did the finishing so merry christmas there's the top and it's done it i did mine in dmc 902 so i just did a little bit of cording um around the top and bottom seam um, and you look up really close, he's a wee bit, a wee bit wonky, um, but I love him. And he'll be another, just a little display to go on, on an area in the house. So yeah, lovely. So glad to have that. So that's another one out of the finishing box. Just going to slide him in there. Um, he was stitched on 40 count that I dyed myself. That one, I do remember that. <coughs> okay. So my grand finale. If you like, I spent a lot of time finally, finally finishing all of the um, hands-on designs, 12 days of Christmas. Oh my gosh, I loved stitching these. So thank you, Cassie. I know you don't watch my videos, but I'm just going to say thank you very much for designing these. They're absolutely beautiful to stitch. Lovely, easy patterns, um, but very effective. Okay, so I stitched mine on 36 count as tech red. Was that here? And I had a 68 by 47 centimeters, um, which is kind of an odd shape, but oops. Oh, should we really do have Sunday drops? This is all I have left. So that's awesome. Be able to get one more project or two out of that. Um, so they'll go into the into the big ornament bin. So all little bits like that just go into my bin of used ornaments. Um, sorry if it's a bit rattly. Here's my threads. Left over and they were, um, they were pretty much all full skeins for most of those. No, actually, sorry. No, a couple of them weren't. But love the colors, love how they turned out. Okay. I'm putting you all fun. Right, eh? Hey, would you like to see? How are we going to do this? Let's have a little look, see. We'll just do a little bit more shuffle. Okay. Push this period back. And no, guys, this is not a real Christmas, my real Christmas tree. This is just the tiny little wee four foot Christmas tree that I have out and I use it to take my photos. Like tiny, tiny. Okay. Righty -o. So they are going to be out of order because I'm just going to pull them off the tree. Um, so we have birds. Birds. 
This is the backing fabric that I chose for all of that. So they're all the same. They're all finished with the same backing fabric. They're all done with my cording that I made, which was done with 3777. Um, because that's the colour that was used. The red that I used in here because the called for red was too close to my fabric. Um, so birds. Partridge. Um, before I forget, the hangers are uh, metal hangers, so they're uh, glued in between the mat board, the boards, backboards, um, and then stitched around and stuff. But honestly, they're not moving. Okay, let's have a look. Doves. And I'm really happy to have this. This has been a, a couple year project. Um, so, so happy to have it done. Hens. Um, what have we got? Swans. Oh, let's turn the tree around a little weeny bit. Um, let's have a look. Pipers. Um, geese. Maids. Now th these charts are still available too. Um, ladies. Okay. Lords. Rings. And drummers. Now these are going to look awesome on my tree. Um, and that's it. That's that empty. Okay. So yeah, that is what I've done. Is fully finished all of those. Little bit of sampler stitching. Little bit of ornament stitching. Um, and that is how I finish out September. So I'm really pleased with those. That's another 12 ornaments for the trees. I say trees because there's always more than one. Um, right, so going forward, every every sampler piece that I showed you today is um, going to be worked on for the rest of the year. Um, I had a look through all my samplers and I pulled out those that I want to work on those that are calling to me um so there's those plus three others that you haven't seen yet um and i will that that am i gonna work on okay um and i've pulled out my christmas stitching um because it's time to start seriously getting into this because for me i work in retail right so my busy time of year is pretty much ramping up now um and that's why i i, I stitch christmas earlier um so october november and through december is just some nights i come home and i can pick up my stitching doesn't mean though the needle's actually going to get through the holes um so i try and get as much done as i can before this time of year um for that reason okay so i need to get working on the other couple of sets of the 12 days of Christmas stockings because I really want all of them finished by Christmas. So that's going to become, and, and we've, it's actually going to be my work stitching. I, no, maybe. Um, the other one I've pulled out and is all ready to go. I've got the needle sitting in the fabric so that will be started is these guys here. Um, sorry, that beer is really quite annoying, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably a better shot. Um, now they are from an old magazine. Um, just cross stitch November, December 1994. That's what the front looks like. Oh, sorry about that, but actually, I might just. That's a bit better, isn't it? Take, take it down just a tiny bit. 
Um, so we will, we're going to see a lot of this book because not just those, I want to search these older ones as well. There's some beautiful ones on this. Um, so yeah, if you can find it, we have it hiding in your stash. My gosh, they're gorgeous. And the other one that I'm going to work, pull out and start working on as well is Holiday Elegance. Um, these six here. Now I've dyed, dyed my piece of fabric um, to put them on and ready to go. Um, and for me, it's odd because these are on 28 count. So are these guys. Um, and the reason why is because if I do them much smaller, they're going to be like an inch by, by an inch and a half. Um, so 28 count, at least they turn out to be an, a, a, you know, a good ornament size. So one, two, and three is going to be my concentration for Christmas stitching for the next however long they take. Um, there'll be others that will get thrown into that mix, but they're the three that I want to concentrate on. Oh, let me see. I think, I think that's it. Everything's been moved and shuffled. Um, but yeah. Um, I have watched a few floss tubers. Um, and I've left my list sitting over on the kitchen bench and I'm not getting up to go and get it. Sorry, guys. I'll do another shout out for floss tubers next time. Um, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Thank you if you made it all the way to the end. This is definitely a shorter one for me, but sometimes that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, guys. Remember, one stitch at a time is going to get our samplers done, our cushions done, our pillows done, our Christmas ornaments done. One stitch at a time is going to get those projects finished. Happy stitching! Bye!